Hello team and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at different methods to count the number of cells within a range that contain text values. We're going to be looking at two specific formulas today. The first function we'll cover will help you count all cells that contain a text value, and the second function will cover how to count all text cells excluding empty strings. Let's get started. Let's start off by using the range I have here on the left to count all cells that contain a text value. To do this, I can enter the COUNTIF function. This function has only two required arguments. The range of cells, which I'll highlight my column on the left, and after a comma, Excel will ask for the criteria for this function. To count all cells with text, I'll enter at the asterisk symbol in quotations, close parentheses, and then click enter. You'll see Excel returns the result of four because I have four cells containing a text value. Empty cells, cells with numbers, or errors are not included. Now let's see what happens if in cell A4, I enter a blank space. After clicking away from the cell, you'll notice the formula now returns a result of five. That's because this function will include empty strings. If we want to count all text cells excluding empty strings, we can use the count ifs function. I'll enter that in. There are two required arguments for this function as well, the criteria range one, which I'll highlight the first column again. Criteria one will be the same as before. I'll enter an asterisk in quotations. Then criteria range two will be the same column. Because I want to exclude empty strings, I'll enter another comma. For criteria two, in quotations, I'll enter the lesser than, then greater than symbol with a space. This is a way of asking Excel to exclude empty strings in the function. Now I'll enter a close parentheses and click enter. And you see we get our correct result of four. Team, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel, leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered, and I'll see you in the next video.